and we should be live. Hello, everybody. Happy Valentine's Welcome. Day. <laughs> Happy Valentine's or Galentine's or your I just want to stay home tonight and relax night too. That's that's great as well. Hope you're celebrating or not celebrating. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited to we have some of our BFFs from ALG joining us later here today as well. But no, where is everyone coming in from? Excited to see. Throw it in the chat. Let us know where you're where you're tuning in from. Colorado. Oh, we have Omaha really close to you, Scott. Oh, yeah. New York, California, Kentucky, Cleveland. Ooh. New Hampshire, St. Louis. I think I saw Ireland in there. Hello. Nolans. Hi, Mary Jean. And you might notice we are not here with Stevie today. She is very missed by all of us. But where is she at, Scott? She is in the lovely destination of Memphis. So she's hitting up a Ooh. conference for us and meeting people there. And Bonnie and I are very aware. We've got some big, big, big shoes to fill without uh, our awesome MC uh, Steezy with us. So uh, we'll do our best to make it fun today. Um, Lisa, Lisa's tuning in from Germany. That's that's the biggest jump I've seen so far. Oh yeah, look at that. No, but so excited to have you all here. I hope you, everyone's been staying you know, healthy and just here to have a good time. But no, with that being said, it is right on the dot for 11. So I'm going to go ahead, get things started today. Let me take the shades off. But welcome, everyone. If you don't already know who we are, my name is Bonnie. I am a senior client champion over here at Travify. Again, trying to fill Stephanie's shoes. So I will do my best today. But with me here is Scott. He is our VP sales and marketing. Uh, and he is just going to help out with all of this, making sure if you have any questions, we have time for that at the end to go through all of those. But make sure you put that in the Q&A today. But of course, as with all of our webinars, we are recording this. So you can find this later on YouTube. And I also have a guide later that we will share at the end with a lot of notes like usual freebies. Uh, and we'll have that link in there for you as well. But awesome. I'm going to let Scott just announce a few exciting upcoming things. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm super excited to connect for the webinar. You know, as Bonnie mentioned, uh, I'm basically Bonnie's hype man for Bonnie and for our ALG friends, LGV friends that are joining us for the webinar today. So I'm going to uh, walk through a few things uh, here at the beginning, just to cover a few basics with Travify that you may or may not be aware of um, uh, with Travify, because when we are doing webinars, we see a, a pretty significant number of, of new people that aren't familiar with Travify that are jumping into the webinar learning. And so just want to cover a few basic things. Now, firstly, uh, I want to give a shout out to a really fun live event that we're doing in Las Vegas at the end of next month called Agent Accelerator. And so Agent Accelerator is an, a free event. First of all, it's a free event that we're doing at the beginning of Travel Agent Forum in Las Vegas. So one of the big independent travel advisor conferences uh, in the industry. We do this in partnership with them to kick off their conference uh, as a part of kicking it off. And it's free. So you don't have to pay to go to uh, Tra travel agent forum and you don't have to register with travel agent forum you can just go to agent accelerator um, but uh, it's an educational event it's tightly packed uh, just a few different sessions in the afternoon as well we'll do a fun happy hour uh, at the end of the event but we'll be focusing on topics around uh, marketing sales automation business fundamentals and things like that it gives you a chance to to step back from your day-to-day -day business and think big picture where do you want to grow where do you want to go with your business in the coming months and next few years. Last year, we had about 400 travel advisors join us for that event. We'll, we're expecting even more this year. So you can uh, learn more and register at the URL at the link at the bottom, learn.travify.com slash agent accelerator. Uh, but check it out there. We'll be sending out more information as well um, to our email list. But uh, please join us. It's completely free. You can register. You'll get a free t-shirt, workbook, happy hour, drinks are on us at the end. Um, so definitely join us uh, for that. 
But also with that, uh, let's talk about what we'll cover today. I'm going to do a quick overview uh, on Travify as well, introduce our special guests uh, with ALG Vacations uh, because we want to highlight that integration briefly at the beginning of the webinar. And then I'll turn it over to Bonnie uh, to do a full demo on building just total uh, absolute magic with proposals in Travify for all inclusives. Uh, so especially with where we're at in the season, a lot of value and a lot of sales to be had with just fine tuning your sales process, fine tuning your documents and your proposals and making it a really outstanding process uh, for yourself that way. And as always, we'll save some time for Q&A at the end. So we're trying to keep this as tightly packed as possible. We've heard some feedback that um, uh, a lot of our advisors that are joining us for the webinars want to cover less and have more time to kind of go in depth and absorb. So that's what we're doing today. We're just going to focus on proposals uh, with Travify. So with that being said, if you're new to Travify, it's really good to note all of the functionality that you can uh, capture in Travify. So whether you're new or whether you've been using Travify for four to five years and you're not sure if you're really using it to its fullest potential and you want to know and get an update on what types of functionality Travify offers, this is a great summary slide so that it can communicate what what Travify offers. So Travify's goal is really to supply all of those essential tools that you need on a day-to-day -day basis when working with your clients and we want to make you look great in front of your clients. We want to put your brand first, give you the best in class tools that you can work and interact with clients, stay organized and provide a great client experience. So with that, starting from left to right on the screen there, these are all the different tools that Travify offers to connect the dots in your daily workflow. Starting with uh, within Travify, you can build out a custom branded uh, website within Travify for your travel business using your own custom domain. You can even build landing pages to market group trips, group cruises, destination weddings and packages, things like that. You can build all that in Travify and start using that in your marketing. And that moves into that second point of lead generation and how you capture leads and client information in Travify. You can create custom forms, travel insurance waivers, credit card authorizations, uh, inquiry forms, terms and conditions, service fee agreements. You can build all of those. We have templates you can start from or you can build them custom. But then you can feature those forms on your landing pages or websites or share those form links with clients, capturing all of that client information in one place, which then automatically seamlessly saves into Travify CRM. So you can keep all of your client information in one simple place in a CRM that's easy to get up and running in 10 or 15 minutes with all of your client information, custom fields, secure document storage, tasks and reminders, and automations, even invoicing for your planning fees and professional fees. All of that is built into Travify's CRM. So as you're capturing that client information, it moves smoothly, uh, smoothly into what we're going to cover on the webinar today with proposals. So you can really streamline your sales process with Travify, being able to build beautiful, customized proposals with great content, photos, videos, and actually deliver that to clients where then they can approve it in one click. And we've also have some new updates that we're going to talk about during the webinar today as a part of that proposal approval process. But then lastly, one of our trademarks that we got our start in the industry is with trip management and itineraries. So you can build beautiful customized itineraries. We have one of those industry leading over 100 different supplier integrations all built into the platform to make it really simple, whether it's a simple all-inclusive or a complex 14-day FIT itinerary. You can build all of that in Travify into an itinerary and deliver that to clients via web link, PDF document, or mobile app. So all of that's possible in Travify. All of that's included in your current account or free trial uh, with Travify so that you can uh, build it out. So if you're not familiar with Travify or you want a quick update on some of the new functionality, those are some of the big pieces that I want to make sure you're aware of. Now, additionally, I want to talk about a few really key updates that we've released in the last few weeks that feed into your sales process and proposal process. Now, automation is a new area that we've been adding in over the last few months and adding more and more to it. Now, automation allows you to automate 
mundane kind of monotonous tasks that you want to just run in the background. And I'll give you a few examples. You know, maybe you want a form to automatically send to clients on a certain day before the departure of their trip. So maybe four months out from their departure date, you want to make sure that you have a travel insurance waiver signed or travel insurance selection made with clients. You can automate that so that insurance form just sends automatically to the clients. Maybe you want to automatically send the itinerary link to the clients seven days from departure so that you don't have to remember that. And 24 hours in advance of departure or maybe the morning of you want to send a bon voyage message through the mobile app. You can do all of that through Travify and you can schedule it and let it run on its own. So we've automated the ability to send trip invites, tasks and reminders, automate forms that you want to send to clients. But then also recently we've added, added in the ability where you can automate chat messaging in the mobile apps to send messages like, welcome to Italy when it's 3 a.m. here in, in the U.S., but it's 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. there. Um, so it's really easy to automate those things. Uh, you can automate uh, invoices for planning fees and service fees, as well as automate credit card authorization forms uh, in Travify. So those are really key because they help you stay organized, save time, and work more efficiently, but provide a better client experience. So you can jump in there. You can build automations and task lists in your library. If you're not sure how to do that, we're not covering all of that in the webinar. Just reach out to our support team through the live chat, and they can send you some helpful links or videos for that. Now, we've also added in invoicing to invoice planning fees and professional fees. This is fully PCI compliant. You can set up your own account with Stripe, our integration partner with that. And then you can charge all those invoices and planning fees directly through Travify. We don't add any transaction fees or transaction rates. It's a straight pass through, uh, through you uh, from your Stripe account, but it's really simple to set up. That way you can collect planning fees and professional fees directly uh, integrated with your Travify account. Now, the uh, one of the last new updates that I want to note, uh, let you all know about is something we released just in the last few weeks with proposal agreement forms. These work like a booking form. When you send a proposal out and a client clicks to agree or approve that proposal, now you can set a custom form that displays in that approval process that you can determine what you want to collect, what information do you want to collect. So maybe in that agreement form, you want to actually uh, post your terms and conditions, a credit card authorization or a service fee agreement, things like that. You can build directly into that proposal agreement form so that it's one smooth transaction in that approval process. Bonnie's going to touch on this a little bit uh, during the webinar towards the end uh, to walk you through that, but it's a really simple and easy way to collect client information really seamlessly during that approval process and streamline your sales process that way. But then uh, next, in a few minutes, we're going to highlight our integration with ALG Vacations. Uh, the focus of today's webinar is around all-inclusives, and you really can't talk about all-inclusives without talking about the name of ALG Vacations as well. Uh, so we have some great partners, some great friends from ALG Vacations that are going to jump on and talk about the integration, uh, how you can import your bookings uh, from ALG LG Vacations and the affiliated brands and their family of brands directly into Travify so that you can really enhance the look of your ALG Vacations documents, customize them and work more seamlessly in Travify. So that's a new integration that we launched last year. We're really, really excited about it. And we've heard a lot of great feedback with it. But last two things I'm going to touch on. Uh, we've got great customer support. We, we know today uh, with how many people are joining the webinar, we won't be able to make it and get to every question asked in there. So I apologize in advance for that. If we don't get to your question, jump over to uh, your Travify account, open the live chat, reach out to our support team uh, to ask any questions there. They're super helpful. You get answers literally in seconds or minutes typically. Uh, so it's a really fast process. But we also have great weekly webinars featuring our very own Bonnie, as well as Stephanie and Alan, um, who can help walk you through uh, key features in Travify. We've got email support, dedicated webinars, on-demand sessions as well in there. But then if you are new to Travify and you haven't started a free trial, I invite you to do that. Click uh, to start a free trial at Travify.com. Spoiler alert, if you're not a new cut, if you're not a current customer with Travify, uh, schedule a demo with our sales team. They've got a special promotion just running for you if you're a new customer and you're looking to get started. So schedule a demo and there's a special promotion for you, uh, but schedule a free trial or start a free trial and schedule a demo with our, our sales team to do that. Now with that, I'm done with my spiel. Um, try to keep it as brief as possible, but really, really excited to introduce our 
our amazing friends, Ben and Cheyenne from ALG Vacations. They're here to talk about this really amazing integration we launched last summer with ALG Vacations. They've been fantastic partners, super fun to work with. And like us, they share our heart for we love this industry and we want to best support you, the travel advisor. We see the incredible work that you do in creating lifetime travel experiences, bucket list travel experiences, and we love being a part of that and supporting you in the process. And we've seen that in working with them. Uh, they they, they uh, walk the talk and really deliver and try to back up their, their advisors that they partner with. So with that, Ben, Cheyenne, I'll turn it over to you to talk a little bit about the integration, but thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Ben Recab here, Director of Education and Implementation. And with me is... Cheyenne Holum. I am an Account Implementation Advisor. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. Happy Valentine's Day. We are here to... Was it Walk the Talk or is it Talk the Walk? E either one. I, I think they both play. So you're walking. You, you do so, both. In some you do form. both. So yes, that's good. Um, this is great. And, and I'm so excited about this partnership. Thanks for the kindness that you expressed there, Scott. Um, this integration, it, you know, we just partnered up in July of 2023. So we're still in the infancy stage of this integration. It feels like we've been together for years, but timing is everything. And we're just so excited because on our side, as the tour operator with our six brands, as a reminder, FunJet Vacations, Apple Vacations, Travel Impressions, Southwest Vacations, United Vacations, and Blue Sky Tours, on that side, when you pay a booking in full and now your documents are ready, we send you the legal documents. Now, legal means they aren't always exciting and they don't just pop off the page. And that's why I think partnering with Travify, that adds that whole new dimension. So being able to import your bookings right over from Vax and have them be available in Travify, that is a game changer. So I could go on and on about that, but I don't have a lot of time and I wanna make sure Cheyenne has some time. So why don't we hop right into how to be set up to import your bookings over to Travify if you already have a Travify subscription. Um, you wanna make sure you get that data sharing agreement filled out. And I'm not sure if Bonnie or Scott, you're driving here and you wanna share your screen while I drive you through it, I'd be, or you wanna drive and I can explain through it, but all about getting that, that data agreement signed. I know it's legal stuff. We, we got to make sure that everything's on the up and up. And really, why do you have to sign this data sharing agreement? And I love this page. It really breaks it down in like the simplest way ever. But essentially, we just need permission from the owner or manager so that you can use Travify since Travify is a single user platform, right? So basically, what you do is you go to the page that um, Bonnie's just pulling up now, and then you'll see the link to fill out the data sharing agreement. You'll fill it out. It'll get sent over to us at ALGV. Now here's the thing. Odds are, maybe your owner or manager has already agreed to it. And then it just gets to us and we're like, oh, that ARC slash account number, that's already good to go. So it's been approved and we just say, yep, you're good to go. And then now you can go to the other steps. If it's not, we at ALGV receive your data sharing agreement and we just reach out to the owner manager and ask that they fill out and give us permission so that you can use that. And everybody's aware that you're using Travify and you're importing your ALGV bookings over. So we say a seven day to 10 day turnaround, but it's really a lot quicker than that. We kind of use that time frame because that initial launch in July, 2023, we got flooded with literally like thousands of requests to get these data share agreements flipped around. So that's moving really quick, really seamless, and then you'll be good to go. So once you get word back from us that either your owner manager already agreed to this and you're all set, or they filled this out and now you are eligible to use, uh, to import bookings over, then you just need to turn it on within Travify. So that that's the last step of just heading down. Um, I, I wanna make sure it's linked accounts, correct? Yeah, linked accounts. And then you'll just flip the switch right there. And then now that Travify has like kind of turned the agency on to use ALGV and now you've done it yourself, now you can pick your supplier from here, one of our six brands, and then you can type in your booking number and bam, you can move that booking right over. It's, it's awesome. Um, I love it. I think it's really good. And then for some of you out there who, you know, you're like, well, I want to make sure that I have your documents and I have the Travify documents. 
really easy to do. And I don't want to steal too much of what Bonnie and Scott are going to cover, but it's so easy to attach a document to just go in there and attach our legal, not so exciting documents <laughs> um, and bring it into like kind of that Travify um, format, because that's really, you know, for some of you, if your client's paying $2,500, $3,000 and up for a vacation, back in the day, they wanted to leave with something tangible, like something in their hands, right? Well, the newer generations, less is more. They want everything right here and they want to travel with it. They don't want to travel with a stack of papers. So it's nice that you can kind of tuck our documents, which can be multiple pages into a nice Travify doc. Uh, and then now you can pull that up on your phone and you can utilize that anywhere on your trip. Um, so, so, so let's just say hypothetical scenario, your clients are at the hotel. There's a discrepancy on the room category. It does happen. We get it remedied, but now it's nice to know you can go into Travify and see that you have your docs there and then the official ones that are in your attached docs and you can show the, the property that that now you need this room category corrected because that's what's on your documents. So that's just kind of a quick 101 on the why, the integration, how to do it in the data sharing agreement. And I will turn it over to Cheyenne to talk about what bookings you can actually do within Travify. And then I'll just kind of end with what's on the roadmap for the things that you can't. Excellent. Thanks, Ben. Uh, thank you guys for having me today alongside that. I know that anytime I mention Travify on any of our implementation trainings, it is like a roaring audience. Everybody loves it. They're so excited for the partnership. Um, for your ALGV bookings, you can pull in your booking number. The biggest thing with it is it needs to be like a single stop. Think one destination. Right now, we currently cannot import the multiple rooms or multiple room booking. Maybe they're doing a few stops in Orlando um, or multiple tabs where you've got people coming from different origin cities. And then last but not least is that multi-destination, those multiple stops, um, think Rome or Europe or Hawaii. Those are the things that we are not able to import. So when you go to pull your booking numbers over, if you're hitting a roadblock there, I recommend it to be just a single stop, your regular air, maybe Chicago O'Hare to Cancun, and then their transfers and features and such. So a pretty simple regular reservation, but like Ben mentioned, and, and you can take it away, Ben, for our roadmap there. Yeah. I, and here's the thing. We, like I said, we're, we just merged still there. There's so much, we're just scratched the surface. And the most important thing that we wanted to do is make sure that you could pull in 90 plus percent of your bookings, which are, which are essentially just a single stop and that are FIT right now. We have seen the surge in Europe. So you are doing more multi-stop. I would say the first area that we need to address on our roadmap, and we're in constant conversations with Travify to make sure that we're making improvements after the launch. The first thing would be the multi-stop. So we definitely want to be able to pull those bookings over. So that's what we would work on. As for multi-room, I'll be pretty transparent with you from a training side. We really don't recommend that you book multi-rooms within ALGV at all. And the reason is, is if you can possibly separate those rooms on separate bookings, that is going to work out a lot easier if there are modifications down the line. So if you need to drop a passenger, add a passenger, now when you have two rooms on one booking, Things can get complicated where now the other room could reprice and we have to reach out to that property and ask that they honor that original pricing on the date that it was booked. So I would say in priority, multi-stop. And then also, uh, many of you know with ALG Vacations brands when you make bookings, multiple tab bookings. So if you add or drop a passenger, we add what's called tabs on the booking. Right now, Travify and our technology can't read those bookings. So that is also on our list of, like I would say, the top two priorities, multi-stop and multi-tab. But like I said, thank you so much for being patient with us. Um, we just launched in July, so we're still making enhancements so that your experience is better. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Ben and Cheyenne, yeah. again, for joining us today and taking time out of your Valentine's Day, of course, to be with us. But no, if any of you have questions, again, make sure, feel free to put it in the Q&A. I think Ben and Cheyenne are going to be taking a look at those, see if they can help out with any of those quick questions. But you're also always more than welcome to chat us or just email us at professional at travify.com and we will find an answer for you. But Something I'm super excited to show, you know, you, we've been talking about ALG, all about all inclusives. What does that even look like? So you might, some of you might not sell ALG brands and you're like, okay, this is sounding really, really good. How do I do this? And what does it look like? So again, feel free to check out that FAQ that we can go ahead, put in the chat. I'll also make sure it's in that guide that we send out here at the end here. 
But let's dive into today. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm selecting that new trip. We're going to do a proposal and we're going to bring in a booking from ALG. So again, you need to go to your linked accounts, turn that on, fill out the data share agreement. Once you have all of that done, we're just in our trip builder. I usually tell people go right to your settings, get all of that information filled out. But I'm going to show you just how easy and quick this really is. We're going to select that new event button. And of course, we have our drop down list of usual categories of events. For ALG specifically, we want to select that booking option. So once we select booking, we have this little tab and we can click into it. We get a drop down list of all of our booking suppliers. We'll go ahead. I'm going to search Funjet today. And from here, all you need to do is put in your booking number. It will ask you at the very beginning, if you haven't done this before, to put in your VAX or ARC ID. Once that is done, put that number on in. We'll select get booking. And what happens is exactly what Ben said. All of the information that you've already gotten booked through ALG side will come over. We get a little, you know, sneak peek of what's going to come over just to make sure this is the right booking number. If it is, Confirm that by selecting add to itinerary. And once that is in there, it's pretty much all built out for us. We have all inclusive information already, confirmation numbers, room types. Uh, as you can see, ton and tons of details and descriptions. And of course, our favorite, the information and documents section with, you know, not the fun information that clients are like, oh, I just want to see what the pool looks like, but still extremely necessary. Uh, but that integration just takes a lot of that workload off of us. But again, if you have any questions, make sure to put it in that Q&A. We will do our best to get to those during this session. But again, always feel free to chat us anytime and we can help you that way as well. But now this is just one of the many ways you can put together one of those all-inclusive proposals. Do it with a booking provider, import it like so. Now I'm going to switch gears just a little bit and show you another way on how to do this. We're kind of going back to the basics if any of you have been with Travify for a while. And we're going to select again, new trip. We're going to create a brand new proposal. And what I was so excited for today is not only is it Valentine's Day, so love is in the air, but one of our very own is going to Jamaica. And I know there's a lot of things up in the air with Jamaica, but I thought to give it just a little bit of love today. Uh, but he's also a huge, big Marley fan. And that movie came out today as well. So, you know, the stars have aligned. So we are going to make an all-inclusive proposal for our marketing uh, provider. So let's get into that. I'm going to click settings. And as usual, I always tell folks, go in, fill out this area as best you can. But I'm going to sprinkle in some tips along the way. First things first, we're going to call this Valentine's All-Inclusive. I'm actually not going to set my start date, mainly because I'm going to customize the day titles as well as a few other things. Now, if you have a start date, go ahead, put that in there. But again, I'm gonna leave that blank for right now, at least. For the price, some people don't know this, but you can actually put in some text. You don't have to keep it as a numeric number. So for me, I might say starting at $5,000 per person total, whatever that might be for you. We'll leave it as total for right now. But then I always, always recommend putting at least something within your trip description, whether it's affiliate links, whether it's a pricing breakdown that you want to do with the table feature. This is going to appear at the very top of that trip. So clients are not going to miss this, or at least we can hope so. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just throw in just some messaging for today. But again, pricing breakdown really is helpful for this area specifically. You can highlight things. Uh, but as you can see, just grabbed some quick messaging saying, you know, here's how I want you to read through this quote. Click approve at the top right once you've gone through everything. And thank you for supporting my business. But once you have all of those details in there, it's time to get into the fun content. We've saved all of those details. We can kind of see those changes right there. We're going to do one more quick thing, and that's changing the cover photo. And we'll get into this a lot later, but there's a lot of great ways to pull in different media. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to search Valentine's. And, you know, we've got a lot of great pictures that come up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this one right here. 
But of course, this is a royalty-free database. You can search whatever general keyword that you would like and you can use them. We'll go ahead and save our changes. And now we kind of have a theme going on if you couldn't already tell. But now it's, okay, I have an all-inclusive in mind. I really, really want to promote this one all-inclusive resort. Uh, how do I go about that? Because we have a day one. I don't necessarily have dates. How can I make my life easier? I'm selling this a lot. What I recommend is going to this day one, and hopefully you can see this on my screen where it's highlighted. We can click into there and we can actually customize this. So what I'm going to call this is really our hotel information. We'll click done. And your clients, they don't actually see that day one. They'll only see hotel information as long as those dates aren't on there. I'm going to add in one more. We'll click new day. It'll say day two, but again, we can go in here and we can customize it to what we want it to be just because I have certain sections I want them to be able to access. And that one might be available activities. And we'll go ahead and click done. And hopefully you can kind of see, okay, when I'm ready to add in hotel information, we'll go to this section, add it in, or available activities, we'll do that there. Information documents, we can put the necessary information into there to correspond. But again, you can do this for really any proposal, but you can also do this for itineraries as well for just a little bit of a custom look. But let's go in. We're in hotel information. Let's select new event together. Again, our usual drop-down list appears, and I know I want to add in some information about this all-inclusive that I'm doing. I'm going to select lodging, and now we have a few boxes that we can fill out. Highly recommend doing a few things. One, searching in the name. So I believe the one that our good friend Dylan's staying at is Couples Swept Away. And there it is. But I'm going to zoom in and just explain a few things. Make sure you have all three filters set. And if you happen to be a part of Virtuoso or Internova, there are some additional integrations you can turn on to bring in those specific properties. But for those of us who aren't a part of that, make sure you have Travify Library and Web selected. This is going to just bring in a lot more search results for you. Now, I always go for the one that has the Travify airplane next to it, mainly because more written content will come over. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to leave check-in time blank for right now. Again, I'm kind of keeping this generic, and I'm adding it in to the itinerary. And what comes over, and this is like the best part, similar to the ALG integration, all the information comes over. And what's left for us to do is just put in a few different customizable details. So I'm going to click the pencil icon right here. If you're new to Travify at all, pencil usually just means you can edit it further. And I'm going to delete out the check-in at. We'll just have it as couple swept away. If I wanted to, I could absolutely use a table, maybe add in some different room information add in some different details down below if we scroll down. But what's nice about just pulling it in from that hotel database is one, we have all of those photos that populate for us automatically, but also these place attachments. These place attachments usually include more photos. So there's 28 more photos that clients can actually go through and scroll through, included with even more, as you can see, facility and amenity information. So this is chock full of great info that you only had to search that hotel and pull it in. But now, again, we're kind of going back with this idea. I'm really pushing this resort. Dylan has been here before. He loves it. I want to bring in some different room options and really highlight those. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to select that new event button. Once again, we're selecting lodging, and I'm going to select down here, add lodging information manually. And from here, this is a great way how you can actually say, you know, which room is which, put in specific details for room categories or group rates, anything of that sort. So let's go ahead. I'm not going to make you watch me type all of this out today. I'm just going to paste in some information I have, but you can get this directly from the supplier's website. We're going to grab some description. That's where we want to put it into our notes area. If you needed to, you can always bold, customize it however you need to. But another thing, and I'm just going to throw in a few more amenities just to make this nice looking. We do have price at the bottom. Click add time or price just to see what that ends up looking like. And you can just throw it on in here. Now, we're going to finish this up really quick. We have a multimedia area. And if you know me or have been on a training with me, you know that I love making it look pretty and really stand out. 
And so what I always recommend trying is the website, copy paste method and video. Of course, the database is great if you just want to bring in some just very generic photos about beaches, you know, anything like that. But when it comes to resorts, we really want to use their photos. And so I'm going to grab the URL for this couple's swept away resort, paste it in here, and we'll see if we can actually get images from them. Of course, it depends on the security of their website on how they like to set things up if they want to allow us to use those photos. Uh, but with this one, it looks like we got quite a few nice clear ones. And so I'm going to take a guess. This is an ocean premiere one. I am going to just grab this guy right here. And of course, you can select as many photos as you want. I'm going to leave it as one for right now and click Save Changes and click Done Editing. But again, we just copied the URL from the website and pasted it into that website method. Now, something else I always tell folks is preview your trip every once in a while, especially if you add some photos in just to make sure they're formatted the way you like and you aren't at the end of things and realize, oh my gosh, all the photos are cropped in a way I don't want them. So now we can just go in. This is exactly what our clients are going to see. We can kind of check out how those photos line up, how these place attachments look. And if we scroll down, we can kind of see what this premier ocean room is looking like. But so far, so good. So we're going to continue moving our way along. The other thing I always tell folks is if you think you can use something again in the future, even if it's just one more time, save it to your library. You can save individual events just by going into it, three dots at the very bottom, and selecting that save to library option. And the beauty of doing that is now when I search Jamaica, that's the label I have on these things is I can actually then pull in my other item here. So if I wanted to, I could just drag and drop it in until I see that green box and it already populates information in. So if you are really specializing in a destination or you're really promoting one resort, save it to your library. It just makes life so much easier when you know two or three more people come to you saying, I want that same thing. But we've just pulled it in from our library. I used my label maker right here to find all of those things. And we're gonna continue moving along to some other sections. But now are those available activities. With all inclusives, a lot of activities are just on the resort itself. But sometimes, you know, if this is a client who's never done this before, never been here, they might not be aware of all of the activities. At least I was not when I was searching up this hotel. And there are quite a few fun ones for this. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to do one manually, and then I'm going to show you how we can actually save it as a template and move it into our trips. So again, new event. Last time we did lodging, we did booking already. What other can we do? We can do activity. In the same type of format, work your way from top to bottom, input that information that you need. I have one that I know Dylan would love, and that is a trip to Margaritaville. Who wouldn't love doing that? And again, I'm just grabbing this information from the website, pasting it in here. And if I wanted to, I could absolutely search for some more photos or if there's any promotional videos that that resort did, we could absolutely put that into our proposals. For me, let's take a little bit of a second to find a margarita picture. We'll search that up. And of course, I believe I spelled that wrong. It's definitely a what is it even today a Wednesday let's just grab this right here save our changes and we'll click done editing that way it's not just a full wall of text I always say sprinkle in a few photos every you know every other event just so there's something different to look at but now if you're interested okay I have like four good activities that I love to tell people to go to when they're at this all-inclusive Highly recommend saving a day to your library. Now I'm going back to my hotel information just because I don't have a full day right here. But if you click these three dots, one, you can select that save day to library. That's going to save them all. Think of it as a package together that you can pull in. Or for those of you who are trying to do all of this really, really quickly, collapse mode, super nice way to do this. Select all of them three dots, you'll find a lot of different options right there. But all to say is that I saved some of these items as a template already. And we're going to search it. And we're going to pull over these things. So again, drag and drop it. 
And now we have all of these different items right here that came over for us. So again, huge when you're doing all inclusives and you're doing one destination or even just one resort. Save it to your library, think of it as a template. Now, I talk about videos, I talk about photos. We haven't added a video quite yet, so we're gonna do that quick. We'll add in some multimedia. We'll select that video option. And what is super nice, there was actually a new update to this. If you use YouTube or Vimeo, you can of course copy the link from YouTube, paste it on and select add video. But I know there are a good handful of advisors out there who do YouTube shorts. YouTube shorts can now be imported as well. So take that with what you will. But if you do a lot of tours when you're on searching these resorts, absolutely make a quick YouTube short put it in there, that will just personalize the whole experience. But we're gonna go ahead, click done editing. We did quite a few changes, so we're gonna quickly preview this. And I can actually expand these details open. And I'm gonna go down to Rick's Cafe right here. And just to show you what these end up looking like, they can click into it, it's so interactive. The more interactiveness there is with a proposal, it just sticks so much better in their minds. And of course they can watch the video right within their trip. And when they're done, they're still right here. It doesn't take them anywhere else is what I love. But we're almost getting to the end. So thank you for sticking with me. I absolutely wanna make sure we have enough time to get through questions. So only a couple more things. One, you probably have heard us talk about this before. We love city guides. And now I'm gonna say, you know, they're flying into Montego Bay. I know we have a city guide for Montego Bay. So I'm going to search that up here, but if you are not familiar, city guides are essentially just pre-made guides about a destination done by local tourism boards uh, and just travel experts. And so I know that when I pull in some of these items, these are trusted places. So for me, I can just search, you know, knowing Dylan, he probably would love to go shopping. Just pull that on in there. And I can, of course, put in a little bit of a note saying if you would like transfer to be held off so you can explore the city, feel free to do so. Just let me know ahead of time. But again, these are place attachments that you can customize. You can always remove some out if you've been there before and you know, you know what, my client wouldn't love how busy this place is. Go in, remove that, use that delete button. But a couple more things is travel and transfer information. So let's go ahead if you did not know, this is actually a newer feature I wanna say maybe done a couple months ago. You can actually click these three dots right next to new day and you can add as many info events as you want. So these are always going to remain undated. So for those of you who are like, I just wish I could put it you know, at the beginning, at the end, you can also do that as well. So for the new info section, now see I have two information and documents. I can remove that title, call this travel and transfers. And this is information that they're going to need when they go ahead and book things. So I want this to remain its own section so they can just find it really easily no matter what day they might be on for this trip. So travel and transfers, we're gonna go back to my library. I'm gonna search Jamaica. You can kind of see how labels play in really nicely. I always recommend if you aren't familiar with labels, make the label a geographic location. So when you're doing Jamaica, everything pulls over. But again, kind of with those templates is we can drag and drop it in and it just populates in for us all of what we put ahead of time. For those of you who do all inclusives, you might work with the same driver. You can actually customize these place attachments to include driver contact information to make it just a little bit different if you want to try it out. But this way, if you have a phone number that you want to put in there for them, you can absolutely do so. Put in their headshot. That's another thing that I've been seeing a lot of times. But now your clients have that information right there that they can click into and call. I love flight information as is. These are flights that go out all the time. Uh, but of course, once this is booked, once this is an itinerary, you can absolutely pull in those flights so we can continue to track those updates. Now, one other thing I realized I forgot about, we did add some more Jamaica content to our library gallery. And if you have not been there before, and I'll have Scott, if you will, put that in the chat, but check out our library gallery. 
go to travel content. Of course, check out all the other tabs as well. But we included just a few more Jamaica places. If you want to click view content, I need some from here. You can kind of check it out, make sure that this is something you'd want in your library. Copy it to your library, and that way you as well can use these items. But if there is ever a destination, you're like, oh my gosh, I use this place all the time. You don't have a city guide on it. Let us know. We're always building things. But hopefully that helps right there. We're now at the end where, you know what? I've built all of this out. What do I do now? We are going to click send. And again, just a few more tips before we get into any questions is one, you can always do the trip link. Highly recommend since this is more of a template than anything, put it on your social media, put it on your Facebook, put it on your Instagram, wherever you can put that. But if you have actual clients you do want to send this to, I recommend emailing it directly from the system. Emailing it directly just provides a few different things. One, I'm going to type in a client name. You can actually create saved messages and you can decide what message you're doing. I believe I'm saving this and sharing it out in that freebie guide we'll be sharing out here at the end. Uh, but this just, again, helps with the workload to go a little bit quicker. So now we'll send that email out. But that's not my favorite part. Being CC'd on it, being able to get that copy is always super nice. But here is my favorite thing is we can actually view trip activity. We can see when that client actually opens it and how many times they open it. And of course, it's always nice to see just how that number continues to grow and grow and grow. But really, I highly recommend emailing it for that specific reason. Now, looking at time, very last thing is, okay, I'm the client. I'm looking at this. You know, everything looks really, really good. I'm excited for this. I need to approve the proposal because that's what Bonnie tells me to do in this description at the top. When they do this, they are going to get a proposal agreement form. And this is a form that you can customize within your library to ask the information that you need. So for me, I need to put in my name. I need to put in my email, Ooh, all caps. And this is just going to verify their email in which they will get one very quickly. And I'm just looking at my inbox here. And I'll put that code on in. But the nice thing about these forms is that you, again, can ask all the information that you need. So we'll go ahead. I'll actually show you. And of course, we get that high level overview of everything. I'm going to go ahead, click continue. I included a logo right there. Put in that contact information if you ever need, you know, I need your primary phone number, I need your emergency contact, all of those details, put it in your proposal agreement form. It just keeps things so nice and easy for your clients so they don't have to search for five different emails. It's all just right here. And since I'm promoting this resort, I have some options in here where they can go ahead, choose which ones they want to go with. Yep, I want to go with all of the proposed activities. The other thing is you can ask a credit card authorization form in here. So if you need to put a something for a deposit down, or if you just need that card for, you know, whatever reason, put in that card information question, they can add their payment method, uh, and that stays secure in here. I'm going to skip that. I also included a little Calendly link. Calendly has that integration now. So if I need to schedule a follow-up, this is what they see at the very end of the form. They can go ahead, fill that out. But very last thing, of course, is that electronic signature. We'll go ahead, type that in, submit responses. And what happens next is that you both are sent a PDF copy of what was approved. And this becomes now what we are used to seeing, that itinerary where you can go in, you can just go through, put in those dates that you might now have, uh, any last minute details. But... That is really a big overview of how you can go about these all-inclusives. But again, want to make sure we have enough time for questions. And hopefully it wasn't jumping around too much, but happy to go back through anything. Awesome. Well, great job, Bonnie. That was a fantastic walkthrough. 
We do have a lot of questions coming in. Uh, we're going to do our absolute best to cover as many as possible. Now, Ben and Cheyenne, uh, you're probably watching some of the some of the Q and A or some of the comments coming in. There are a lot of questions about, hey, I have an unconfirmed booking in ALG or in VAX that I want to try to import in. Can you walk us through the ins and outs of what can be imported and what can't be imported in that regard when it's an, it's an unconfirmed booking? Yeah, the greatest way to think about it is that you have to have a booking number like to import it over. So that could be a booking number that you are you just booked and you're holding it for 72 hours without payment um, and just allowing it to auto cancel if there isn't payment applied, that can still be brought over. That, that it has a booking number. It could have deposit on it. It could have full payment as long as there is a booking number. But unfortunately, and this is where things get a little confusing, is that we refer to our quotes as itineraries and then Travify refers to itineraries as bookings uh, or bookings as itineraries. So as far as a VAX saved itinerary, that does not have a booking number. Your inventory and your pricing is not locked in. That could change at any time. Thus, you can't pull that over to Travify because none of those components have been secured. Awesome. Yeah. So tons of great questions around, hey, if I have quotes and unconverted bookings, but basically, if you got a booking number, uh, generally speaking, you can try to import it unless it Correct. falls in one of those categories of a booking yes. that isn't supported right now. So that's super, super helpful. So thank you, guys. Um, sure. Question, Bonnie. Is this being recorded? <laughs> yes, this is being recorded. And Stephanie went and Angel, she's going to put it up on YouTube at the end of the day. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, and speaking of which, I'm going to put in our chat here today, that link to that guide that I've got going on. I'll also be updating that link in there. So if you check back, you know, tomorrow morning, we should have the link to the recording in that. But I'm going to throw that in. And afterwards, I'll also be linking this trip and allow you guys to save it just if you need an example or just to see kind of what we did together. Awesome. And another question, what's the difference between days and info sections on a proposal or itinerary? Great question. Let's go ahead. I'm going to click edit in here. One big important, you know, differentiating factor is with info items, you can only add in info or city guide events. And with info items, even if I were to put a date in, so let's kind of just do that quick. Let's say they're going out on the 16th, save changes. What that does to days is it puts those dates on the days. However, with the info events, it remains undated. So do with that what you will, but there's a lot of different things that you could put into your information events, like travel, transfer information, documents, things that your clients might need to get to really, really quickly. Yep. No, that's great. And if you are an OG Travifier, uh, in the last few months, we added the option where now you can add multiple info doc sections in there. So if, you, if you're if you super type A, like many on the Travify team, and you want to keep everything grouped and organized really perfectly and custom title those different sections. You can add those at as a pre-departure information section or a post uh, return section um, at the very end. And you can add multiple and customize the titles for them in there. So it really helps you kind of group and organize things really, really well that way. Um, another question here. Uh, can, so from Tara, she asked, can I see how many times a proposal or itinerary is viewed if I send it to a client, share it on social media. Where can I see how many times uh, it's been viewed? Yeah, absolutely. I love that question because this goes to trip activity. Now, I will say whenever you email it directly to a client, that's how we can actually see what specific person actually viewed it. But if you want to share this out on social media, it's a great way to track numbers because if you share it via link, it won't say, you know, who specifically it was because you know, there's no way to tell who it was, uh, but you can absolutely see how many times someone went and viewed that trip. So if you put something out there and you're like, you know what, I'm not sure I have never done Jamaica before, you know, put it on social, see how it goes. And you're like, oh my gosh, you know, in the past week, I've gotten a hundred total trip views. That's telling me something. So love trip activity for that helpful insight. Other thing real quick, and this is going a little off topic. 
you can go to the people section. If you email it directly, you can see if it was sent, if the invite was opened, and if they had viewed it yet specifically. Tons yep. of little insight areas here. Yeah, and that that little uh, tool that Bonnie showed, a uh, pro tip on this, if you guys want to know about this, that will update for different statuses. So it will show if it's been sent or maybe something's up with your client's email and the email bounced. It will let you know if there is an error on that email. It will let you know if they've downloaded the mobile app and viewed the itinerary in the mobile app. So it gives you a lot of intelligence is what I would call it in terms of what's going on with it. But to get that, you have to send it through Travify system uh, so that our system can actually track and monitor that status for you. But it really helps you have a better idea of where the client's at with that. And another question from Tricia, how does a proposal convert to an itinerary and how do the clients get the mobile app after it is converted to an itinerary? Love that question. So real quick, if you didn't know, you can actually change the status yourself. So let's change it back to a proposal. When I go to preview this trip, we have that approved proposal button right here. This is what your clients want to click into. And if you customize the form with different questions, they'll want to go through, fill those out, put their electronic signature down. And upon approving that, that becomes an itinerary automatically to show the app and PDF option. So let's say, you know, I did this again. Uh, we'll switch it to an itinerary. We'll preview that. They now have the app and PDF option. They can just select that app, put in their email address. They'll be sent the instructions and special, I believe we call it magic link, uh, to get that downloaded in trip plans. But something that I do like to show people because, you know, maybe you haven't tried it out yourself or you just want some different visuals. I'm at least a very visual person. Triplans.co is the landing page I always tell folks to go and take a look at, mainly because if you scroll to the bottom, your clients and yourself can actually click into what step they might be at and they get the corresponding screenshot. So again, super helpful if you have really visual clients. Yeah. And this page we built specifically from feedback from advisors that would come to us and say, like, I can't count how many times at conferences an advisor would come up to me and say, hey, I have great clients, but I have some of them that are not super tech savvy and they just need a little bit of help um, to walk through what's the value of the mobile app? Why should I download it? And how do I get into it? How do I download it? So we built this page and what you'll notice, there's no mention of Travify on the entire page. We built this so that you can actually package this into your own communication, your own marketing, and Travify doesn't promote our brand to your clients. This is purposefully designed just to be about the mobile app that you can share really easily with your clients. So you can share this with them. I see a lot of uh, advisors that will create a library item in their Travify account about the mobile app and put a link in here so that it just continues to help those clients that aren't super tech savvy feel more comfortable getting into the mobile app and using it. Um, focusing on the selling points and the value of, they can communicate with you. They can chat with you. They can see all of their, their trip right from their mobile phone. They don't have to lug around a paper document. Uh, it's really, really handy uh, with that. Can I also speak up on the, I love that you can access it offline. So I panic that I'm always going to lose internet. Like that is my biggest fear. <laughs> that's so sad, right? That, that's my biggest fear. But like I print out, I'm not, no shame. I print out my boarding passes, you know, cause I don't know if I'm going to lose my internet and not be able to pull it up. And I think especially for a lot of us that are sending clients to international destinations, that adds this whole other layer of concern that when the moment they land, they don't know what data plan they should have. They don't know if receiving a text or using internet is going to cost them a fortune. So to be able to turn that off online and have your full itinerary, that is so huge. That That is like the coolest thing. Um, and I hear so much praise on that. So really well done on that. I think that's great. Thank you, Ben, for the shout out. And just to add on to what Ben said, with that offline mode option, that toggle, uh, the app then downloads all of the documents that you've attached into the app as well. So if you have any of the departure documents, vouchers, confirmations, things like that, that you've attached in, all that gets downloaded for offline mode. So your client literally has everything they might possibly need if they lose internet access that way. So great plug. Thank you, Ben. Yeah. Uh, now, a question uh, from Amber. So this is getting a little bit off of proposals, but starts to talk about that overall workflow, Bonnie. Uh, if clients fill out an intake form or a credit card authorization form, where does that information go? Do I have to go find it and then retype it in back into contacts or into Travify? Where do I find that information? 
Oh boy, this is a fun one. And honestly, we could have multiple webinar sessions just on these features alone. But whenever you receive a type of response to a form, you'll of course get notified via email with a link to that form directly in your actual library. But, and I'm just going to, I don't think I have a form that I have filled out recently, but you'll have a responses tab. You can see all of the responses. You'll get a high level overview. But what's so nice is that you can actually have it just assigned to a contact automatically, or you can select create contact automatically. So a lot of automations just with that alone. But then that information actually updates within the contact descriptions. If you use smart fields, newest feature that was released, which is huge. And thank you to our OGs who have been just pushing for this for so long, uh, but our custom smart fields. So if you ask anything like passport ID or passport information, driver's license, you know, secure questions like that, that will also populate automatically upon submission of a response. So mm -hmm. again, yeah. And, super and great. And then a follow-up question to that, where do you act, where do you find the forms as well, the form responses in Travify? Yes. So I don't know. Let me grab my Cynthia person right here. You can go to your contacts, forms. You can actually download a PDF of those responses, or you can always actually view it right within here. Now, this happens to be a very simple, as you can see, intake form. But this way, these are assigned automatically. You don't have to click a button that says, you know, attach to this will just go in. So that's also another big reason why I say email directly from Travify when you can. It just saves so much time in the long run. But yeah, hopefully that answers that question. Absolutely. And I would only add just because we do have a lot of people that book with ALGV on, on the webinar today. If you're using Travify's credit card authorization forms, you can send out the credit card authorization form uh, through Travify that co uh, securely collects the client payment details in a PCI compliant manner. And you can pull those up and then apply those to ALGV or VAX's system uh, so that you have the payment details over there. So Travify is designing a way that you can work really seamlessly with your suppliers that way, but you can securely collect the payment details that way if you're using Travify's credit card auth authorization forms and also booking through VAX's system that way. Uh, now, lightning round, we've got like one or two minutes left and we'll try to wrap up on time. Um, uh, how do you, a question from Cynthia, how do you customize the proposal agreement form that you showed us? That is a great question. So whenever you do a proposal form or actually, you know what, I'm going to, there's a couple ways that you can do this. Uh, short answer though, is one, you can actually create a form of your own that you want to use. And so let's say you go in there, you have a form that you've been using and you're like, this would be amazing if this could be my proposal form. Go then to your account and from there, settings at the very bottom. And this is a new little area where you can assign whichever form that you want that's in your library to be that proposal agreement form. So if you, I know it's wave season right now, there's just a million things going on in the travel industry, but if you are just doing cruises and you have a cruise form that you have, you know, tried out, it's been really working well for you, go in, search it and select it. And that is what will connect those together. But that's yep. really all you've got to do. Yep. So build the form in the library, build that form, customize it out. Keep in mind, currently, as of today, you can select one proposal agreement form. I'm anticipating that might change in the future where you could choose different proposal agreement forms, but currently you can only choose one. So make sure that you don't choose a form that's uh, specific to one single client or one single booking. It, it should be a form that is versatile and universal that you can use on any. So collects client information, uh, maybe it has a credit card authorization or your terms and conditions built into it, but it's general and can be used on almost any proposal that way. Now, uh, the last question uh, from Larry and Larry, I love, I love Larry. I've known Larry for quite a <laughs> while. Uh, our friend from Canada um, has Travify created a great cheat sheet with tips and a plug for Bonnie because she does oh. a fantastic weekly webinar, maybe pull up the support center and let them know where they can find this, Ooh. a weekly webinar for tips and tricks. And this is designed, it uh, can be good for new users, but it's especially good for experienced users that want more in-depth, like show me the, the, the pro tips and the really interesting ways that I can streamline my workflows, 
Plus, Bonnie is literally like a Travify ninja, super, super high level expert and can really walk you through some fantastic tips and tricks with that. As well, we also have a getting started guide that will walk you through a lot of the key areas and key features in there. Um, and that's in our support center as well. So with that being said, I uh, thank everyone for joining the webinar today. The recording will be posted at youtube.com slash Travify. So on our, tra our Travify channel on YouTube uh, later today, Huge shout out to Bonnie for leading us through an awesome webinar. So thank you, Bonnie. Oh, and Ben you. and Cheyenne from LG Vacations, thank you so much for joining us. It's always you, fun, guys. always a pleasure to, to work with you guys. Um, but uh, if we didn't get to your question, shoot us a message in the live chat or head over to our Facebook group and uh, ask other users, but also where uh, Bonnie is pulling up the chat there. That's where you can reach out to our support team. And uh, we'd love to connect with you that way. So Thank you. Thank you so much um, uh, for joining us today and have an awesome, wonderful day. Ooh, see ya. See you guys. <laughs>